Hey guys, I'm going to walk you through developing technical sketches um, and sort of the difference between technical sketches and different types of fashion illustrations. So this lecture will hopefully um, be uploaded and available for you so you can also look through it um, and all its individual details, but we'll use it as a guide for the background here now. So again, we're going to just understand the different types of styles of sketches and how to draw a flat sketch to scale um, and some terminology related to technical sketches. So there's basically three different kinds of sketching. You might have your drawing for inspiration. These are personal sketches from your sketchbook or notebook. Drawing for presentation. So these are like your finished fashion croquis sketches. And then drawing for specification is for technical flats for a tech pack to be sent to production. So to show you what I mean, um, so drawing for inspiration, this is like, say, a page out of your sketchbook, right? It might include fabric swatches or just rough sketches of ideas. You might have color and graphic inspiration. You might have some motifs, some details. That's what this looks like. Like, actually, this looks pretty cool, but you might not show this to someone in a presentation, right? This is your working out your ideas situation. And then when you have your presentation is when you have your, like, final fashion croquis, right? They have heads and hair and faces and hands and feet, and they're all pretty and... Um, They've been worked through and all the details are finalized. They are usually in color, though it's showing this in black and white. Uh, but this is like your final presentation of your, your collection. And you might even have, as it shows off to the left here, you know, like a collection of dresses or pant, pants, you know, skirts, jackets. This is like if you did a line plan and you said, you know, these are the dresses in this collection, etc. So this is like for final presentation for specification is very, very different. Um, these are flats. These are technical flats. This is not to sell, like when you look at this illustration and you're like, oh, I can see that mood. She looks beautiful. I want to be her. I want to buy that outfit. This is to send to a factory. So it's not stylized. It's never going to have color. Um, it's going to really only show you the lines for how to construct it. So it's two-dimensional. It is drawn definitely to scale. That's very, very important. You're not going to, again, stylize um, the way it falls or, you know, um, exaggerate anything. It's going to be exactly how it would appear if you laid it flat on a table, which is why it's called a flat. Um, you might show some stitching details, like see here how it's got the stitching details around the armhole and on the bottom hem. That's because they want top stitching there. So it's hyper specific. And this is the style used for tech packs. Again, you're going to take your garment and this is always done from a real garment. This is not just done from your imagination like you might do with a fashion illustration. You're going to lay it flat on the table and see exactly where it falls. Um, you might also have, you know, wanted to see this on a body just to make sure you know exactly where the waist is or where it's hitting on the hip, something like that. But when you're drawing it, you're drawing it very flat like this. And this is to compare. Um, so they're calling this a float over here on the left. And it's basically like you've taken a a garment off of the croquis, but you can still see almost like the body underneath of it, right? Like it's hanging as though it would be on a body or maybe on a hanger. There's movement, there's like ruffles, you know, in the fabric. They're showing this with color. This is what you would show to a buyer because this looks good and it makes me want to buy it. This on the right is the flat version of it. Not as exciting at all, doesn't really look good, but I can understand how it's made, right? You can see very clearly, oh, here are the different pattern pieces. They've even come up with a labeling system, which is what you see in flats. A lot of labels, a lot of measurements and things written on top of it because what they need someone to understand is exactly how to sew it and to put it together. In this case, because it's asymmetrical, They've even indicated where the center front is because that's going to be something that you really want to, you know, going to make sure that uh, comes across correctly, exactly how that crosses over. And it looks like they've labeled, you know, the trim pieces and the sleeve pieces and things like that. Um, I think they're doing this to indicate where the different types of fabric goes. And you might even have instructions like how it says stitch through all layers at, at the seam line. Um, things like that are going to be super important with technical packages and flat drawings as these are um, more details the better 
you want to really make it clear to someone else that isn't you how to construct this garment. Um, this is to send it to a factory and to have it come back exactly as you like it. Um, and this is an example. See, now we have a real garment on a mannequin, and then we have it laying flat on the table. And see the big difference on the mannequin. It looks like it has shape and fit, and it curves around her waist, um, and it's really cute. Laying flat, it is not as cute. <laughs> it looks wider and frumpy and dumpy. Um, that's fine. This is just many steps in getting the garment exactly the way it is. We know that it fits well because at this point you've designed it, you've tried it on your fit model, you know, your your um, sample looks good, but now we're going to lay it flat and we're going to make sure that we can sew it so that it's accurate. You still see that, you know, curve around the waist, but definitely notice how it looks a little different when it's laying flat. Definitely looks wider. Um, and then here it is in flat on the table compared to the drawing. A big difference here is that I didn't even notice from those um, real photos, whoops, the uh, ruching that was on the top. And here you can really see that because they're showing that detail. So super important, right? With the print and the color and the real photo, you couldn't tell what was happening. So that's why flats are also so important. They show you every tiny little stitch detail in the construction of a garment. I also might not have noticed this, but there's little side slits that open up to give a little movement at the bottom, right? That's obviously very important to know. And it looks like they've got top stitching here. They've got top stitching on the collar. They're showing you where they want each button. This is a dart. Um, that's where they're showing you that line is there. For example, you would not put any line in your flat drawing to show like wrinkles of fabric. You never would do that because a line like this, to me, it says seam and to the factory. That's also what it says, seam. It says, so, you know, something is sewn here. So this is a dart to create shape. This is this tiny little kind of cap sleeve that they've put in. And again, here's their indication of ruching. The way that they've done this, for example, um, to show, see how they've got these, kind of looks like these, <laughs> to show the ruched fabric. They've done it, if you kind of notice, in a slightly lighter um, line point. You know, this is a little darker. This is the darkest, the outside line of your, uh, garment is really, really dark. Inside seams are a little bit lighter, and this is a little lighter even to show that this really isn't like you want individual seams in there, but the fabric is pleated and tucked and ruched together. So that's what they're showing there. Um, and the rest of this kind of just talks about terminology of um, technical drawings, mostly relating to how we'll take measurements and this kind of talks about like I was saying um, having heavier lines when you're drawing to show different details and to kind of show the importance of it um, and sort of developing technical sketches from scratch we are not exactly going to do it this way so I won't go um, into too much detail on those but you can definitely look through this just shows that how you would kind of again get to all of your details you're going to start with that outside shape here in step nine this is the front step 10 this is the back and like step 11 it's showing you and then you're adding your details on top um, again really paying attention to all details wherever you want a stitch line um, wherever you want a button, a dart, um, any sort of opening, something like that. Um, and again, this is just showing like different, how to show different seaming um, and different measurements. And then stitch details is something you even could um, show and indicate and kind of explain what that means. And it might just be that you put like a series of dotted lines and then this um, pop out or off to the side where you explain what that means. Um, and then so in the actual assignment, the technical drawing assignment, you'll basically choose a simple garment. I suggest a simple shirt or a skirt to start that's in your closet to make the technical drawing of. Um, so you're going to photograph the garment laying very flat, just like I showed in that lecture earlier. So it's like you saw it on the mannequin, but then you saw it flat on the table. And then you're going to draw what you see very neatly with all the details and to scale, kind of as we as we saw in the lecture. Um, so you can look back through the lecture and use, um, you know, very detailed, accurate sketches. Um, you're going to use the technical flat croquis 
template. So let me show you this. So this is what I use when I'm drawing a flat. Um, this is, we've got a front view and a back view. They call her Missy. <laughs> and she is a less stylized fashion croquis. She's not as long. She's not nine or 10 heads. I think she's eight. She's a more realistic, proportioned uh, body right so she's really great for flats um, and you're gonna use her and basically trace right on top of her so you could if you want if since it's a garment in your closet a garment that you own maybe try it on just so you know if it hits right at the natural waist you know if it's a skirt does it go to your knees or does it go above your knees or slightly below you know things like that you can try it on to kind of make note of where it hits where does it hit you exactly on the neck? Things like that. Is it, if it's a V, does it go well below the bust or does it kind of hit above the bust? Things like that. So you can try it on, but then the goal would be um, to lay it flat when you're actually drawing it. And then you could take a piece of, a piece of tracing paper or a piece of computer paper and lay it right on top of this girl. So you could print her out is what I suggest. Um, if you have like a digital drawing tablet, you can just pull her up as a file and draw digitally right on top of her. Um, that's fine. But some way you're going to literally draw your garment on top of her. <laughs> you're not going to wing it. You're going to use her exactly so that you can get your scale completely accurate. And this will make sure that your front and your back is identical. And it'll make sure that you're not just winging it, that the waist is a set point, that her hips are a set point, that her knees are at a set point. So you're going to draw on top of her and use her as a guide for scale. Um, again, you can print it out or um, I guess you could even place, I say, a piece of computer paper on top of your computer to trace over her form um, and draw your garment as it uh, would be on her body. Now, um, she's going to come out from behind, so don't like draw right on top of her, um, print it out. You want to put another piece of paper on top and trace on top of her because just like all the flats that we just saw, I don't want to see a body underneath of it. I only want to see the garment. Um, and then again, you're going to pay attention to it. Does it fit tightly? to the body or is it a little oversized and it has some room? This is where, again, trying it on might actually help as well. Um, you will include any stitching details, any pocket details, etc., and try to make these drawings as accurate as possible as in the examples that I showed. Um, use a ruler or a straight edge to draw perfectly straight lines. If you're not able to draw a straight line just with your hand, it's okay, pull out a ruler. Um, in the days before doing computer illustrations for technical drawings like this, that's what they did. They would use rulers and get it exactly straight and exactly perfect. So definitely take your time with this. And at the same time, pick a simple garment. You know, don't pick something with a lot of crazy details or that does something um, wacky or that's asymmetrical. Just pick a really simple garment to start with for this. Um, and then just really concentrate on getting straight lines, accurate details, show that top stitching, show any other pockets or details or anything like that. And then you'll use this technical drawing when you do the next assignment, which is the garment analysis assignment. Um, and I'll uh, potentially make a little video where I show you myself tracing over the croquis to get the exact scale, okay? But I think you guys should be able to do this.